So remember, to use elimination, either the coefficients of your x term or the coefficients of your y term must match. So what I want you to do is look here. If we look at our x terms, I've got a 3 and a 5, so they don't match. And if I look over here, I have a 4 and a 2. So neither sets of coefficients match, but what I want you to think about is with this 4 and this 2 here, they don't match, but I could multiply this bottom 2y by something in order to make it match. If you think about it, I can make this 2y into a 4y by just multiplying this whole equation by 2. Okay? If I were to multiply this equation by 2, then this middle term here would become a 4y. And remember, we can do that because of our multiplication property of equality. As long as I multiply everything, it doesn't change the value of this equation. So if I were to do that, though, we'd still have one other issue here. Look at these signs. Remember, they have to have the same coefficient, but they have to have different signs. So here's what I'm going to do. I know I want to multiply by 2, but in order to make it uh, an opposite sign, I want this to become a negative 4, I'm going to have to multiply by negative 2. So here's how I'd show my work. I'm going to start with my original, that first equation here. I've got 3x plus 4y equals 6. And then I'm going to take the second equation and I'm going to multiply everything here by negative 2. So 5 times negative 2, that's going to give me negative 10. Don't forget your x. And then I'm going to do negative 2 times positive 2 here. That's going to give me negative 4y. And then finally, I'll do negative 2 times negative 4, which will give me a positive 8. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two equations together. So 3x minus 10x will give me negative 7x. My 4s, positive 4 and negative 4, are going to cancel out. And 6 plus 8 would be 14. To finish this off, divide both sides by negative 7 and I get x equals negative 2. So the x value of my ordered pair is going to be negative 2. Now to finish off this problem, I need to find the y value. I'm going to start with one of my equations, doesn't matter which one, and then I'm going to take this value of negative 2 here, and I'm going to plug it into x because that's what x equals. So I'm going to replace that x with my value of negative 2. So I'm going to have 3 times negative 2, and then the rest of this equation, plus 4y equals 6. And then it's just time for us to solve it. So 3 times negative 2 gives me negative 6 plus 4y equals 6. And I have to move all of my numbers together. So I'm going to add this 6 to both sides. And I'll get 4y equals 12. And then I'm going to finish it off, divide both sides by 4 and I find out that y equals 3. So when I look at this ordered pair, my solution is negative 2, comma 3. Now there's one more situation you could come across. If you look at this set of equations, again, I have a 2x and a 3x, so they're not the same. But when I look at it, it's not possible to multiply 2 by anything to make it a 3. So I can't change my x's. So then I'm going to look here at my y's. And again, I have a 3 and a 4, so they're not the same. But I also can't turn a 3 into a 4. So this is one of the, the more complex problems, because in this situation, we're going to have to multiply both equations. Now, we still want to try to get our coefficients the same and with opposite signs. So for me, when I look at this, I see I already have one y that's positive and one y that's negative. So this is the equation. These, sorry, this is the variable that I'm going to change to make sure they have the same coefficient. So again, when I look at a 3 and I look at a 4, the least common multiple that those two things have is 12. So I'm going to try to turn both of these equations into y values of 12. If I look at this first pair, or this first equation, in order to make this y value a 12, I'm going to multiply by 4. So 2x times 4 is going to give me 8x. And then 4 times negative 3 will give me negative 12y. And then 4 times 6 will give me 24. Now, I need to do the same thing over here, except again, remember, we want this y value to be a 12. So I'm not going to multiply by 4. I'm going to multiply by 3 this time. 
So 3 times 3 would give me 9x. 3 times 4 is going to give me 12y, and it's a positive 12y, which is good because those will eliminate then. And then 3 times negative 25 will give me negative 75. So now I'm ready to combine my like terms here. 8x plus 9x will give me 17x. My y's are going to eliminate because I've got a positive 12 and a negative 12. And on the right side here, 24 minus 75 will leave me with negative 51. And remember, it's okay to use a calculator. So to finish off, I have to divide both sides by 17, and I'm going to get x equals negative 3. Now, I have to go back and find my y value. I can use either equation. I'm going to use the one here on the left. I like it better because there's no negative 25 at the end. And I'm going to take this value of this negative 3 for x, and I'm going to plug it back in here for x. So I'm going to have 2, oops, changing colors, 2 times negative 3, and then the rest of that equation stays the same, minus 3y equals 6, and then we just have to solve. So 2 times negative 3 gives me negative 6, and then I have to push those 6s together, so I will add 6 on both sides here, and I get negative 3y equals 12, and I will finish up dividing both sides by negative 3, and I get y equals negative 4. Okay, so remember, in order to eliminate, you need to have one set of coefficients that have the same number, the same coefficient, and they have to have opposite signs. So variables with the same coefficients, opposite signs. And you can change them around by multiplying. You just have to multiply the entire equation um, in order to not change its value.